Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. You heard that? <laughs> what? <laughs> anyway, I was gonna give y'all a whole like, what you gonna call it? Like a whole real subject today. I was about to go in on somebody, but you know what? I'm gonna give y'all a story time instead. Okay. Don't raise your eyebrows at me. Girls burnt too, okay? Anyway, so in the midst of all of this, I want to tell you guys to make sure you subscribe, okay? Hit that like button, okay? Because who wouldn't want to come back to see this? Like that's, that's like just a straight up given. <laughs> all right? So, I'm gonna give y'all a story time, like I said earlier, and it's gonna be a great one because I'm gonna need y'all to take y'all tea, your popcorn, your, your Cheez-Its, take whatever snack that you got on the sidelines, we about to get into it. So, let's all start somewhere where I feel like all stories should begin, which is on a normal note. Just so y'all know, I did this recording three times already because the first time, the camera stopped working. The second time, the camera was fine. But I didn't like the way my face looked, so we're doing it again. So we're gonna get you straight into the story time. So I don't know if you guys knew, but there is a video a while back when I did the get, get, the get ready, okay, she made that me. The get ready with me. <laughs> and I talked about a girl who basically you know was trying to do the same guy I was doing you know she tried to get she tried to get in there she tried to do what she had to do and I understood it like I guess I get you baby but he was in love with me so you mad <laughs> anyway so basically I'm gonna tell y'all a story about when this girl got me in some shit now the story like I said began very nice in Virginia I don't know if you guys know or know me or ever been to Virginia if there is a party happening, you go. The only reason why you go is because there is nothing else going on. Nothing. Even the clubs close at like 2 a.m. and the clubs there are like lounges, not clubs. So, basically, we go to this party, we're having fun, we're dancing, you know. I get my move on, I'm getting my groove on because hello, it's a party. I'm getting lit city bitch, lit, lit city bitch. I don't even know what that song means. but. I'm getting there and I decided to get a, bit, a little bit too lit so I'm having so much fun and I'm dancing and I don't know if anybody knows me personally but I have so much fun like you don't if you want to have fun invite me so I'm every time I close my eyes I see my ring light and it's like in rainbow it's so pretty but <laughs> So I'm dancing my night away and my friend comes over to me, well ex-friend, she comes over to me and she's like, hey, um, let's go to this other party. Like I heard there's another party going on. I was like, yeah, sure, what other party? Like where are we going? She's like, oh, we're going, it's a different part of uh, Newport News. So I live in a place called Newport News and it was a different part. It was called, I think we went to some place like near Fort Eustace or something like that. But it was like basically in the woods. So I was like, nah, <laughs> I'm good, I'm good here. But she's like, come on, come with me. Like they're they're like producers and they're, like they said that there's studios out there. So like, let's go and like, let's go see. Cause you know how much I want to sing. And I'm like, okay, fine, I will go with you. So we go there and it's a whole vibe. Like it's fun. I, I'm but I'm just really cautious like if you don't know me I'm really cautious I'm all here for the fun I'm all here to go wherever you want to go but I am so fucking cautious like I need to like not hold on a second lip balm is happening okay where was I Okay, basically we get to this party. It's a whole vibe. I'm down. We're out there. We drinking more. And anybody who knows, I love tequila. Tequila is a fun, fun liquor for me. So that's what I did. I had some tequila and I am doping out this place. And after like maybe two hours, maybe like two hours, she came up to me again, and I'm like, just trying to live my best life. Like, this girl's always, this girl always want to talk. I don't want to talk. I want to party. Like, I'm out here to party. Leave me alone. Right? 
she's like, oh, they just offered me this great opportunity to like sing in their studio and they have a really nice studio down south in North Carolina. Like, I think we should really go. And I'm like, girl, I don't know these dudes. Like, what is wrong? What is wrong with you? I'm not going to know North Carolina with people I just met. I don't know them. I'm not going. So she's like, please, like, you know how much I love music. Like, I really want to go. This girl, let me tell you, she always getting me some shit. I done saved her from domestic abuse. I done saved her from what you call it, from a whole pack of people that used to do like crazy things and she was like, it was like a cult, but not really, but it was something like that. I think it was culty. I done saved her from that. I done saved her like housewives. I done, you know what? I was nice to her when she tried to take my whole man. I done did all these things for this girl. I'm done, I'm over it, okay? I don't wanna go to no North Carolina for your music career that you don't even know could happen. Especially when you can't sing. <laughs> but anyway, I ended up going. <laughs> I went, cause I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna let you die down there. That's, I'm gonna be a nice person. I don't want you to die down there, so I'm gonna go. So we ended up going, and the drive wasn't too bad, cause it's Virginia, it's one state down, North Carolina, and it's right below it. So we go, and I was like, all right, let's have some fun if we're gonna be down here. So on the way there, we stop at this house. This house is the biggest house I ever seen up close. Like I've seen huge houses, but this one was like next level huge. Like it was like how you live here. And um, yeah, so basically, like I just said, it ended up being their house. And I was surprised and I was like, holy shit, this is about to be, like I'm about to live my best life. I'm about to be the entourage that you always wish you had. Like we about to get down with the get down. So. I get out the car, I'm going to like run up, and these dudes, there's like so many security guards. Like, I was like, holy crap, I'm literally about to live lavishly. I'm about to live like the queen that I am. It's ridiculous. So, I decided, I was like, you know what? This wasn't a horrible idea, sir. I'm like, all right, we about to have some fun. You know what? You might have made a good idea this one time. So we go inside, I'm meeting everybody, I'm meeting the, the whatchamacallit, the security guards, I'm saying hello to the staff, I'm like having so much fun, like we're doing what we do, and we start, we do a little drinking, and then this lady, she wants to come and show me like stuff in her room, so I was like, I don't know you, I'm not about to walk off by myself without my friend, but you know what, I'm about to leave this girl. <laughs> I left her and I went to go see the, the, the lady that came up to me and was like, hey, you're so pretty, like, you're so beautiful, like, come with me, like, I want to show you something, like, I feel like, you know, me and you can get along, blah, 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 I was like, okay, that was weird, but sure, okay, I'll come with you, no harm done, no foul, you know, so I go with her and she showed me all these pretty little outfits that she, like, what you call it, dances for with her, for her man, and I was like, oh, that's so cute, like, oh my god you don't know me from a hole in the wall why are you showing me these things but you know she did anyway <laughs> so I'm looking at them and then all you hear is like a bunch of girls behind me like not yelling but they're like yelling they're happy ah, and she knew and she knew like I'm like okay um hi like I turn around because I'm like who is these girls so I turn around I'm like hi like you know my name is so-and-so and like they're like oh my god your name is so pretty like oh my god uh are you gonna like stay I'm like uh what do you mean stay like I'm not staying anywhere um my friend's here for her music but I'm here like to just like make sure she's okay and they're like oh that's so nice of you blah 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 I'm like whatever okay so I turn around back to the lady who's like you know just being weird <laughs> and she's showing me these outfits and I'm like okay that's not sexy so I go back right I go back out of the, the, the room and I'm going to talk to go find my friend as I'm going to go find my friend I see all these girls like dressed like you know yeah, yeah you know what I'm talking about they're dressed like that so I'm like okay that's sus but whatever so then as we're like having a little bit more fun um this guy started asking my friend, like, yeah guys, like you should stay. Like I have this like this club and I feel like you guys should come to, with me to the club. And I was like, okay, sure, we'll come with you to the club. Like wait, me, club? We go like this. Like, I'm down. We Audi 3000. And they're like, yeah, you should wear this. 
What? First of all, wear this is an understatement. There's nothing to wear. <laughs> it is legit like, okay, like it was like a jean jacket with like booty shorts with like, the, you know how they have like names on the back? It was something like that. And I'm like, I'm not wearing that. I'm gonna wear what I have on my body. And he's like, can you just like try to put it on? I was like, no, I'm not putting shit on. Dude, I was like not even with it. I wasn't with anything. My friend was like, oh my God, can you just please like, like try? Like I wanna do, like, come on. I'm no, no, no. So then I hear him over talking with like his security guards and stuff and his security guards is sitting there like, you know, just being like super sus. So I was just like, what's going, like, can y'all just be real now? Like what's going on? Because I'm getting annoyed. Like what the hell is going on? This dude has a whole, he's a, like, he's not a pimp, but he pimps out girls. Basically, he gra he gathers girls from all over the place, brings them to his house, and have them go dance for him at a club, and they don't even get the money. They only get, like, 5% of the money, which is not even a lot to do anything. Like, literally, all they can buy is to, like, wash their ass. Like, do their hair, do their nails, and wash their ass. Holy shit. At that moment, I realized, I'm like, I gotta go. I gotta get up out of here. Like, let's go, let's go. I'm not gonna say the girl's name, but I don't, I'm not gonna say her. I'm not even gonna give her a name because she's not important. So, <laughs> she did some really bad stuff to me, guys. Go watch that video. Link is gonna be in the description or in the, like, I'm gonna put the thumbnail, who knows? But just literally, wow. I was over her, I'm over at that moment. I realized I'm not gonna be friends with this girl no more. I gotta go. So I start grabbing all my crap to go. Cause like, remember I packed, this is supposed to be like a week thing. I thought it was like to stay over a week. It's like, no, this dude was literally trying to make me stay there and be his hoe. Like what the fuck, no, I'm out, I'm leaving. So I'm leaving and I'm grabbing my friend and this guy comes and runs up to us and he's like holding his waist. I'm like, dude, what the fuck? Like who, how, who the fuck do you think you are? You better get up on my face. I'm not scared of you. I don't care who you are, what pussy you came out of. I don't care if, and what type of like human being you think you are, but I'm not scared of you. These hands work perfectly fine and I will dig your eyeballs out of your sockets. You better get up out my face. So he moved. And I realized when I went outside, I didn't realize what was happening then, but when I went outside and I was like, uh uh, they tried to rope me into some shit. I was, oh, oh, I'm going. I didn't realize that the dude had a whole gun on his motherfucking, his, his thing over there. I didn't realize this guy had a whole gun on his waist. So this girl not only bring me into some, some trafficking bull crap, she literally almost got me murdered. So I have to go. We're going. I will, like, no, take me home now. She And she literally had the nerve to try to stay. She had the nerve to try to get me to stay. Guys, guys, I can't even. So that was a time and my story for the day, well, the night, because it's night here. And holy crap, I almost got murdered by the same person who tried to take my man. And it happened afterwards, by the way. So I was just a nice person. I'm a nice, I'm a, I'm a wonderful human being. Just saying. So if you want anybody to be your friend, it would be me. <laughs> I'll literally hold you down. But anyway, if you like this story, I hope you are wonderful enough to subscribe to my channel and leave me comments. If you want to hear more story times, like I know y'all probably get annoyed with me talking shit about everybody else. So let me talk shit about myself. So if you want any more story times, leave a comment below. Like y'all are so shy or something. Like what's going on? Like I see all these numbers of y'all watching me. Like leave me a comment. I'm a great person to talk to. It was nice talking to you guys again. Remember to subscribe again and click that notification bell so you can see when I put up more posts because hello, I am hilarious. Goodbye now. Oh, uh, wait, before I say goodbye, y'all stay safe with this corona crap. And please, if y'all can please just like put, y'all don't need all that toilet paper. What the hell is 